Yo, what up? It's me, Mammoth Muscles, and today, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, as you can see. I was thinking maybe I could have done this for a Halloween-ish video, but it's not that scary. Unlike Lords of Shadow 2, which is horrifying! Ah, so, um, yeah. Uh, Lords of Shadow 1, I actually really, really like. Does it have some flaws? Sure. To me, though, it's like one of the better reboots of anything, honestly. I'm sure a lot of Castlevania purists are already coming at me, but they, they, there's some fun, like there's other things about it. I'm like, I wish this was handled differently or whatever, but uh, we'll get into that. I'm just gonna play a chunk of this. As you can see, it's the Ultimate Edition, uh, which is the PC version, has all the DLC, runs at 60 frames per second, higher frame rates. It's probably the best version you can get of this game. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play through this, see how it goes. Hopefully uh, this is as fun as I remember when I played it at launch. I beat it. Quite a lengthy game, so I doubt I'm doing a full LP. I, I don't got time for that right now. Uh, first thing I want to talk about, I love the book aesthetic, this tome of uh, Castlevania stuff. Um, it's in all the uh, introductory sequences. It's in all the level up stuff when you gain moves. They really, really went for it with this, and I like it as a framing device. No other Castlevania game has it has it quite like this. There, there's others that are close, but um, it's one of those things I really like about the Lords of Sh uh, at least Lords of Shadow one. A storm is coming. Yeah, fuck me up, Vampire. Picard. He has come far already, but he will be tested, tested to the very limits of human endurance. So like American endurance. Ninja, basically. The struggle for supremacy is eternal. Man, he got paid for all Inevitable. this. Sir Patrick Stewart did. Yeah, Light and Darkness is a big, big sticking point for Lords of Shadow. At least this one. I guess the second one, too. See, so yeah, this is like kind of the introductory sequence, as you can see. Um, I think it does a decent job of setting things up, but it could be a little... It could flesh things out a little bit better. Darkness has come to engulf one's proud humanity, and we are witnessing the end of mankind. So it's like Twitter, basically. So there's our boy... Uh, Gabriello Belmonto, probably one of my favorite Castlevania uh, pro tags. Not my favorite. He's no Richter. He's no Simon. He's no Trevor. But I like him better than um, Leon. I like him better than God Hector. Hector barely counts. Sorry for those that like Hector and Leon, but so what I mean is that like um, Gabriel just shows up. I'd like a, a little bit more backstory with. Uh, the order he comes from, the uh, the uh, Brotherhood of Light, just just before this, because they don't get into that stuff until a bit later, and it's just like, wait, who are you? What, what, what's going on? But they get to it, you know. But for that storybook feeling, I would have liked something a, a, with a little bit more backstory with uh, the book aesthetic and Patrick Stewart giving us narration. It just kind of throws us in, which I don't mind from a gameplay perspective. So it's God of War, as you can see. <laughs> Uh, but it's a good God of War, and that I'm into. Uh, your strikes are basically direct attacks that do damage to one singular enemy, and then you have more area of effect attacks like this that take care of uh, a swarm of enemies. Take care of uh, a swarm of enemies. Now we got this big dick wolf on the other side. We're all scared. You know, there's big dick energy in the world, but wolfish dick energy? That's tough. I remember this game on consoles ran at like a weird frame rate, like an intentional frame rate of 24 frames per second. Not even 30, and they said it was more of a, a filmic thing, which is sure, you know, whatever you say. So I played a bit ahead, I did a recording test, so I have a few uh, things that I shouldn't have yet, like combat focus, uh, sucking in all these, what is it, neutral uh, elemental orbs? Plus, I, I do believe I started this game up like a few years back when I got a PC good enough to run it, because I didn't have it at the time to run this at 30 and all that. I think we have a QTE coming up. I have to be prepared for it because it's a weird one. The timing is like oddly specific. This looks way better in 60 frames per second, as almost everything does. 
Ah, oh, God, it was right there. You can throw a lot of silver at him. Silver daggers, I think they do pretty decent damage on werewolves, as you can imagine. I can't kick them in the nards, though. You have to wait for it to slow motion. He does two howls. Just that. Come on, he has two howls and then he's gonna jump. But no, see, then he gets scared. It's it's one of the most skillful QTE, like cutscene sort of how to take care of a monster intro intros I've ever seen. It's not free, It's uh, that's amazing to me. He's like, no, 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 man, I see what you're doing. You have to lift this up in a very specific timing, right when he's about to jump. Not yet, not now. There you go. It's when his eyes flash. Oh, I didn't think you'd hold that up in time. You got me. You got me, Belmont. Uh. And these villagers are like, oh, wow. I'm speechless. Did, did We should get a TikTok of this. This dude just showing up and killing that werewolf out of nowhere. Who, who are you? How do I find him? An umbilical cord. He, Those are rare. He will find you. In the forest. Okay, the forest is kind of big. Where where in the forest? Alright, I'll just... Alright, thanks. I guess I'll just boot up my Waze app. Try to find my way through the forest. So here's all your skill pages where you level up. Like, let's go to advanced moves, just see. Um, we have all this. Uh, air grab? Hmm... Area counter strike, direct heavy combo. Don't quite have enough for that. Chain barrier, you say? So I love these little illustrations. I like that. That's just hold Y. Uh, press on all the Y buttons, start a sequence of heavy area attacks. You can control the directional attacks during the combo with the left stick. Enemies in front of it. And, and behind will be hit with a series of chain attacks too. Why not? So, you know, a lot of character action games, adventure games like this have little movies that play. I really prefer this. Just as black and white animations really give you a good sense of what your attack will actually be. So I'll get that. I follow him into the old forest, watching him. From Stop afar. following me. In this place, God's influence is thin and threadbare. Love that word, threadbare. Old, long has it been in disuse, but for now, he dreams. Yeah, he dreams. He dreams of a sustainable life with only one job and free Medicare. <laughs> Not in 2047. The answer. Ghost wife. Yeah, it's not chemicals. It's an actual human. thing. Loss of love can make a man And she's like, no, that's my ghost husband. To do anything to bury the truth uh, from its pain. Very Dante's Inferno there with Ghost Grim Reaper. So, I think this is the the uh, horse riding section, which is okay. It's it's not the best thing in the world. It's no Shadow of the Colossus. It's no Zelda. It's no anything like that. It's very guided, very on rails. It's not the most thrilling thing. Whoa! I hear you seek the guardian of the lake. I will take you to him. Am I high? Quick, climb onto my back. Hide. I'm high. Okay, I get you. So I think we have to fight a bunch of wargs or 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 werewolves riding on wargs. I can't believe that's what it is. Yeah, the only thing about this is that it's really hard to see when an enemy is going to attack because it's so much brown on brown. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm going to be cool. Am I going to do a cool thing? I did a pretty cool thing. The horse is impressed. <laughs> that's our hero. It wants you to do a little bit of combat. It's like, nah, man, you're, you're going to have to do a little bit. Shut up. This is like if they'll just explode at it. So let's try this move. Look at this. Look at this badass. When he's working for his religious order, the Brotherhood of Light, they're like, just spin the fucking combat cross around. Jesus loves that. All right, Wargy. You're going downy. So one thing about this game, though, is you can see, like, I'm not getting the best camera angle. I wish it was a little bit more overhead in some sections because it couldn't really see what the uh, werewolf is doing down there. All right, like, Horace, are you going to help me or not? You kind of... You, you, you kind of ghost me when I really need your help. All right, this is a cool guy moment. I guess Kojima, like, Kojima, all he did for this game was basically give a few uh, notes on cutscenes. 
can travel no further. You will find what you Wait, what's gonna happen ahead. though? Horse, give me more information than zero. Am I doing a cool thing? Yeah, I'm doing a cool thing. Yeah, this is this is kind of metal a uh, Metal Gear camera shot to me, but yeah, as far as I know, Kojima gave some direction on cutscenes here and there, and some feedback on the main character. He's like, make the character hotter, make him a bit more bishy, cause Raiden. Cause I think the original design for Gabriel was a lot more Simon Belmont like, a lot more. Oh, we got a montage. Alone again with only his thoughts as company. Yeah, he's a millennial. There is just the small matter of the dead bog. Right, the stink up. land. A place Damn. That is, and danger lies around every corner, but nothing will stop him. Nothing will stand in his way. Except for the smell bog. I'm not into that. So yeah, um, a lot of levels I find in this game are also really, really linear, but st like, you're kind of like uh railroaded into these very like forward sort of corridors even when you're outside and there's not a lot of openness in this game i kind of find from from my memory at least maybe it opens up a bit later but you're always kind of guided through it's like the call of duty of action games or it's just always kind of moving forward which i don't necessarily mind but i wish there were a few more sections that are a bit open i think Maybe later, if memory serves, it, you can kind of go on some different paths and such. Here's a jobber. He got jobbed out. Combat is not a thing with this game, in the sense that it. it there, I have no real complaints. The combat of this is really fun, for the most part. I doubt they got Robert Carlyle, the voice actor for Gabriel, to do these battle cries. I'd be surprised if they did. Because most of the time, he's all like, I am looking for my beloved. And here he's like, bleh, bleh, like he's fucking Sylvester Stallone when he's fighting. Oh god, there's like these fucking internet trolls that live here. You might want to hurry up there, Gabriel. It's it's a, it's a bomb. Yeah, them some trolls. Goblins probably. It's like your own weapon. See, I want to talk about some things on this screen. For those that don't know this game, is that when you're doing well in combat, if you're just racking up hits and not getting hit, that uh, meter on the uh, the bottom of the screen that just kind of dissipated. Um, and once you build that up, then enemies start doling out um, like kind of neutral orbs which feed your magic meter that's in the bottom left. Um, that's your light magic meter. Uh, when you have that activated, I think that's a shoulder button or a trigger, uh, then I think your attacks get like some type of magical property, but it also refills your health. Later on, you get a shadow magic meter, which I think maybe does more damage um, and that's and that's kind of the main gameplay quirks of combat. It's actually pretty neat. It's also self apart a little bit for some other similar character action games. Just waiting for that shit, uh, those little ripples to go away. Yeah, I just I just get past. If you go over here, it's very stink, and they're like, no, it stinks, and you're like, oh great, okay, all right. There's a pervert in the bushes. Always nice. Um, am I a little low on health? I am. I guess I could go over there. The past dues kind of separate in this game every so often. I don't know how much. Uh, this is just like the first section that kind of does go, hey, you can go over here if you want. Uh, I don't know which way this is. I'll go this way, whatever. I, I don't, I'm not that scared of the slight loss of health I have. And sometimes you'll find some upgrades uh, for either your health. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of haters that kind of uh, talk to you when you're in the dead bog. They're just like, you're gonna fall in. This shit is goopy. And you're like, yeah, maybe, maybe I will. So it does behoove oneself to, if you see another kind of route, like go over there, you might get like a health gem upgrade or your light magic. It's a lot like the Gorgon eyes and the Phoenix feathers and the um, Minotaur testicles that you find in God of War. This is a God of War clone for all intents and purposes but before this came out it was always kind of like yeah that's what that's what castlevania could be god of war had it right in the sense that it's a good format for castlevania to sort of take so i think this kind of loops around and i can go the other way i kind of want to get through the dead bog though because it's not the most interesting area it's kind of cool 
And something I like about the, the classic Castlevanias that are like pre uh, Iga is that I like all the spooky places that you go beforehand, graveyards and forests. Um, I'm a lot like James Rolfe in that way, where I'm like, I, I kind of like variety, and I, I don't like the castle the entire... I'm getting my ass kicked. I don't like the castle as the only environment. Yeah, stuff like Portrait of Ruin. You visit other tile sets, I guess, in the uh, castle. And that's okay, but I kind of miss going to other... Um, locations uh i yeah it's called castlevania i get that a uh, castlevania the castle itself is a huge focus okay i think i have to bomb this stupid tree to get get through oh i forgot you can grab guys too i think it's rt yeah i want to do that and bomb the shit out of that the goblin grenade has uprooted the tree you can do a goblin grenade! Okay, that guy didn't have one. Oh shit, he did! Never mind. So here you really want a time, because what happens if you get grabbed by these things that it just takes up time? It's not the most thrilling part. The weird hands. God damn it. I walked right into it. I thought they were dissipating just as I was, as I was getting there. It reminds me a lot of the gross hands that grab... Who is it? Is it fucking Frodo or is it, is it Gamgee? Where they grab him. I think it's Fro. I want to say it's Sam, but it was probably actually Frodo. Ugh, oh, this thing. I forget what's following you. I think it's like a boss. But Gabriel, it's right there. You're probably hitting it right now. The environmental art in this game is really incredible. Sometimes it doesn't show it in the best light because of the camera angles and how they're a bit linear um, or a bit like, you know, one path. Uh, you only get to really see one angle of these like really nice looking areas uh but other times the camera will pan back and show you like the full depth of of the place that you're in and i remember some areas later on looking really really beautiful you can see it when i say how linear it sort of is like can't get confused about what direction you're going and i mean it's a castlevania game a lot of the 3d castlevanias as we know weren't the best I mean, I don't really particular like Lament of Innocence is okay. I don't really like Curse of Darkness, um, and, and and the less said about Castlevania 64 and Legacy of Darkness, Legacy of Darkness is okay. Maybe I'll play that with Liam one day. Swamp Thing, was that Swamp Thing show that DC and Warner Brothers hated? Was that good? So fortunately, the Brotherhood of Light gives upgrade stations for your crucifix me, cross. But my need is far greater than yours. It's mine! Give it to me! It's like a Pokemon Center. But for, for for your cross. But the Pokemon inside your cross isn't like a Pikachu. It's like Jesus. I think this is a quality analogy. Your Jesus is ready to go. He's all refreshed. There you go! It's double cross! So what can you do with the combat cross with the hook tip? You do this shit. And God's like, go nuts, I don't care. It's really fun. Oh yeah, it's this weird dick face troll. Like a swamp troll. Whoa! Alright, I'll, I'll activate the light magic just to show you what it looks like. Finish him off! In the traditional cute... You know, no matter how supernatural or devilish an enemy it is, God created QTEs. They're really strong. Thanks, you guys. Can't carry more daggers. You see this message a lot. I think I need to upgrade my dagger count. Um, and daggers are all right. Um, are they as fun as like the crosses that you shoot in Dante's Inferno? Not really. And here we have a nice platforming section that they kind of frame in like a 2D sort of way. I'm not sure if that's their attempt at, at kind of going, well, let's, let's have a little bit of 2D sections to kind of reference old Castlevania. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but they're kind of fun. God, the level art's so good though. Like, even in the background, that, that like, image, it's really nice looking. Because, yeah, you can't really move, you can move a little bit on a platform like this, but otherwise when you're just jumping, it's it's kind of 2D. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know for sure. I've never read an interview or such like that that says definitively, oh, yeah, we were trying to, to emulate classic Castlevania here. Because as a reboot goes, this takes a lot of things and character names from Classic Vania, and I appreciate that. They didn't, like, 
get rid of everything. You know what? Can I get more throwing daggers? I can. I can get dagger wave, which isn't all that great. Uh, it's 400, and I shoot a wave of daggers, maximum five daggers simultaneously. I only get two shots of that. Maybe if I've upgraded daggers more. Getting more daggers is something you have to go back into previous levels once you've uh, achieved some other move. So there is kind of a reason to do that. Anything else? Air what is air grab exactly? In air, LT. You know what? All, all This attack only works on smaller enemies. That's kind of combo. We all get that. It's only 200. Now, was it a new skill after the air grab? Downward punch. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's in the air? And then what? RT again? Okay, we'll do that. RT and then RT. That might be cool. So yeah, this this little level, it's not much of a level, but it's it's quite stunning, actually. Get Lords of Shadow one or two art books. I think there's maybe one art book for both, or it I can't really remember. I have one of them, certainly. And if you can't experience these games or kind of forgot about them, you know, get that. So I think this is kind of our first, I wouldn't say puzzle, but I have to collect these sigils. And I don't understand sigils. I see a sigil and I'm like, wow! I think these are, that looks like uh, the Lin Kuei logo. I'm not sure if there's a, that, that, I doubt that's a Mortal Kombat reference. What am I, what am I saying? That's stupid. Look at this fucking place. Look at you drag Gragrasil. God, I can never say that. The World Tree. And when I first played Tales of Symphonia, I really didn't know how to say yeah, yeah, drag or soul. I mean, I don't know how to say it now, obviously, but that's beside the point. Oh yeah, so over here, here's an example of... Uh, you cannot reach this Brotherhood arc. Come back here once your skills have improved. So, I don't know what I need for that. I think I need like a double jump or something. It's something I didn't really do when I first played the game too much. Because I, honestly... I think all it does is maybe gives you a few life gems and upgrades your, like, um, dagger count, but I don't really remember. It was their attempt to try to make some type of non-linear gameplay, but it, it's kind of half-hearted. It's one of the things the game doesn't do super well, but I appreciate the effort. Hi, it's me, the adorable Puck! Never seen an elf before! So what we want to do is put this in the order that you found them. Uh, select rune slot, change rune. So I want to put this as... No, no, that's stupid. That one. Uh, change this to Lin Kuei. Change this to empty because we don't know what it is. No, change this to the one we just don't have, which I think is this one. This double axe thing. Axe body spray. And this random elf allows us passage. Thank you. All right, all right. Turn it down a, a notch. And Gabriel's all like, that was some dumbass shit. I don't know about that. I feel underdressed to be in here. I mean, over. I don't know which one I mean. Quite nice, though. Can I fall down here? There's a lot of invisible walls not letting you go. Again, any any place that they want you to die in, you can, you can fall off there easily, but... I, I wish there was a little bit more exp uh, exploration other than just like the two two or three paths that split off that you can clearly see you can go. Like I wish I could fall down there and there's a secret in there. Nowadays, should a Castlevania game be, um, you know, a lot like a God of War game? Eh, no. Should it be a lot like a Souls game? I think that's, you know, Bloodborne is as close to a Castlevania game as you could get. I wouldn't mind it being in the Souls style, honestly. And, and you know, even the 3D Castlevania games that Igarashi worked on, those clearly were aping things that were popular at the time, like Devil May Cry, like the monster collecting aspects in um, Legacy of Darkness. Curse of Darkness? I forget I which one. Curse of Darkness. Are you aware of what is happening in the world? Yeah, shit's fucked. Creatures from the void come to claim the souls of men. Yeah, there was a DDoS attack between us and God, and now we can't communicate online anymore. A spell that has isolated our world from the heavens, cutting us off from God, and allowing evil to flourish unchecked. Why yeah, brotherhood of light. Our world's been canceled. Cancel culture in 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 major effect here. I do like that idea. Like we've been cut off from heaven, so like evil's just flourishing. Like there's something about that where I'm like, oof. A message. That's rough. Yes. Oh God. No, I am remembering this bit. This is another puzzle thing. It's like a slide puzzle, not a slide puzzle, but a ring one. 
Ah, uh, this might go poorly. Uh, finish the level after being Pan's Trial in five moments. All right, yeah, these are trials. These are like, you get extra XP for doing these. My wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I saved my wife good. I love this bullshit though, if I remember. Like it just cuts to a thing like, oh, we were about to cut her. I had like a million more tries. Turns at the wheel. They're just trying to cause drama. You solved the puzzle. <gasps> the heel turn. Wait, what? I don't remember. I don't remember this part. Ah! That mask doesn't look too good. So, what did that mean? That seemed like it'd be bad. What does this mean? Tell me. Pan's oh, like, I don't know. God. One thing this game does really well, it really runs the gamut of different creatures uh, to bring up. Like, Baba Yaga shows up later. Uh, can I afford anything? No, I'm poor as shit. Oh. The test has shaken him. He I seemed okay to me. So Pan is helping him now. That's good. <laughs> You're making me look bad, and that's no not good. He will not fail. Not now. Not yet. Not if I have anything to do with it. Okay, sure. Just self-insert yourself into this fan fiction, Zobek. Whatever. Pan, check out. Like, every character and, like, monster you get, like, has these uh, pages. Uh, pollutes and destroys the world, and the old spirits depart, and soon Pan must choose his own fate. You can do it, Pan. I support you. So I think there's the vampire section when you go to the vampire, like, territory of wherever we are. Europe, I guess. And, uh, it looks a lot like this. And the snowy sections of this game, they look incredible, too. Uh, we got a boss, though, I believe, coming up. And it is, it is a boss that you might, might recognize. If you don't know this game... Um, you'll be like, I think I know where they got this inspiration from. Let's watch. Gabriel's like, I, I guess it was nothing. It seems to be fine. I don't know, I guess it was just a false alarm. Could be anything to- Oh, it's a Colossi. Just does the Colossus noise from X-Men Arcade. So, make no mistake, this thing wouldn't exist without Shadow of the Colossus, clearly. Um, that being said, I think there's only three of these in the game, and they are pretty cool, you know? Am I gonna complain about getting to fight cool, massive monsters? Not really. And the scale of this is pretty cool, because he's half buried in the ice. There is one later that looks really awesome. It's like this uh, female-looking goddess statue, and it's so fucking big. I remember that being a really, really awesome fight. Uh, this is this is kind of okay. I mean, it's, it's about what you'd expect. I think he shoots a blast here. He does. Okay. You don't have a grip meter, but you might as well have a grip meter because it's hold RT. All right, what do you, what, am I good? Where, where else should I go? All right, over here. All right, no, I got it, I got it. Yeah, he's got a weak spot. It's a rune, it's, it's similar. He's like, what's doing this to me? I'll never figure it out. Maybe it's that guy that's dressed in red. I don't know where he is. So yeah, you can beat this guy in like a minute. It, that's possible. He's like, ah, jeez, I can't really find where this red mosquito is. I think over here I want to get on his little goatee. There you go. And I'm pretty sure he shakes all around here because he knows, he knows that at sacrifice, Gabriel Belmont you get out of the way. Whenever there's a camera shift, that's how you know. You gotta be really careful here. He's gonna shake like a motherfucker. <laughs> Get the fuck off! Had <laughs> enough of this stupid shit. Oh! The, the late game save by whoever that is. I bet Patrick Stewart can do this shit in real life. If he, if he tries. Um, okay. I hope you can catch this. So yeah, that this this colossi only needed one more hit. There is lore behind these things. Like they are just like uh, autom uh, automatons that were just made to be war machines, 
and they were just abandoned, like, in different regions of, again, 2047 Europe. I'm sure these are available to look at in your local museum if you are based in Europe. Ugh, I'm done. Man, it's like that scene at the end of the Mortal Kombat movie where Chan talks to Liu Kang and he's all like, Marie. Remember when our parents died? Because this is the Lake of Oblivion that Pan was telling us about, so... It actually was our destination. Ah, uh, ghost wife. She's like, please don't do that. It, it's okay. not great. I am so happy to look upon your face again. Especially since Kojima gave some feedback. The world has been isolated from the heavens. She's like, dude, I don't know. I'm dead. I'm scared. Dude, I just fought a Colossus. I'm super scared. Uh, I know stuff, but I don't understand it. Go fight on, Gabriel. Go save our heroes. Wait, wait, what? Marie. Like, what do you want me to do? Put on a proton pack and just fight ghosts? I used to yes. sleep in a big bed with my wife, but not anymore. I guess you wouldn't sleep in a big car bed anymore. It'd be more like a chariot. Are trying to tell us something very important through her. What do you mean? But the Wi-Fi signal was shaky. The Lords of Shadow must not suspect we're on their trail. Whatever you do, don't let the Lords of Shadow know that we're killing the Lords of Shadow. Different routes, you know. That would ruin our plan to kill the Lords of Shadow. Here's this shit. I don't know. I found it. This is this is the this is a stone badge from beating Brock over there. Thank you, brother. You have given me renewed hope. Yeah, cooperation. Gonna be another montage. Yeah.